hey guys welcome to my channel my name is charity if this is your first time here welcome don't forget to subscribe like and watch my other videos if you have been here before and you're not subscribed please subscribe and watch all my videos please so for this video we're going to do a story time i put up a poll on my instagram about a month or two ago and asked you guys what story time you'd like me to do and uh, most of you chose this one so this story time is going to be about the time i slept with a snake for three days unknowingly all this happened in people uh if you don't know i'm from people i'm Muhle, so i'm from people uh you don't know where people is i'm going to put a map of south sudan and yeah i'm going to put a map on the screen so uh how i ended up in people because i didn't grow up in people as you all know i didn't spend most of my time in i didn't grow up in south sudan i just moved here when i was already grown <laughs> 2017 was the first time i actually went to people and oh my god did i have didn't I have the worst time of my life? Like, I had fun, of course. Like, I had fun because, like, that's where most of my family is and all. But it was not a joke. Trust me, it was not a joke in people. People is not a joke. So, for high up in people, before I went to people, I missed three flights. Like, before I went to people, I missed three flights. Like, if, you're, if I was someone else, I'd think that, oh, this is a sign, right? But no, I thought I was smart. I thought I was smart. So I didn't think about it. I missed three flights to people. Like, who misses three flights to the same place consecutively? Like, who does that? So the first flight I missed was actually all my fault. I don't blame it on anything. I blame it for my own myself. So the first flight I missed, like, uh, see, when I was going to people, like, when I got called to people, I had to come from Nairobi. Like, I had to fly in from Nairobi to Juba, then go to people so when i was coming i don't know what happened to our cargo that day there was something wrong so they told us to pick our luggage the next day the next day i didn't manage to pick my luggage so i called and then they told me to go and i told them i'll pick them i'll pick it the next day but then the day after the day i was supposed to pick my luggage i was supposed to go to go to people i was supposed to people so in my head i'm like what is the point of me going to pick uh this luggage yet i'm traveling the next day let me just leave it there i'll go pick it up like i'll go check in go pick up my luggage and then go back and board the flight right i thought i was smart jokes on me so now the day we're supposed to leave me and my sister were both leaving on the same day uh we go to the airport we leave early like we get there early because i was like you know what we have to go early check in so i can pick my luggage you know i talked to this lady and i told her yo i'm picking my luggage my flight is at eight i have to i need my luggage by like 7 30 at least she's like oh yeah cool our office is open by 7 30 so i was like oh thank god nice so we go to the airport by like 6 50 we're already at the airport we check in then now time to look for my luggage actually no time to go to the office where my luggage is we go and then this lady is not open 7 30 she's open 7 40 she's not open 7.50 is when she opens and finally I get my luggage and then we're now rushing to To where we're supposed to board our flight from right? So we are running 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 running. I'm carrying a huge bag I, Like there was no one to help us. It was just me and my sister So we're carrying one of the bags and my sister was carrying the other so we're just you know rushing to where we're boarding from We got there by like 7.50 We got there at 7.50 something before 8 and the van that takes people to the plane had left so we're talking to this lady this rude woman and then she's like oh i can't help you guys I'm like we're not, it's not even eight like can't you guys just take us to the to the plane can you figure out a way to take us there like no i cannot help you you guys will have to book the next flight or you have to wait like woman like it's just a few minutes it's just a few minutes can't you just do anything it's like no i can't do anything everything is closed right now we told her we already checked in so what i like how like nah it doesn't matter if you've missed you've missed so we had to call the office and tell them that oh we missed our flight so they came and picked us and took us back we had to go and work because it was a work day anyway so now that was the first the second flight was not actually i didn't actually miss the second flight oh it was cancelled the second flight was cancelled so yeah me and my sister stayed still 
then now the next flight like we're supposed to leave see well me and my sister were supposed to leave together yeah i don't know how when uh, the the manifest came out i was not on the manifest like my name was not there and they had booked me i don't know what the problem was like we don't book, we don't book our own flights like they book the flights for us and then my name was not there like what reason what is the reason my name is not there so i went i i, I went to that mean and they're like oh sorry it's only your sister's name that is here you will have to wait for the next flight so I'm like, uh, okay, like I didn't even think that, oh, okay, maybe God is trying to stop me from going. No, me, I was like, nah, like maybe Juba just wants me to stay. Maybe I'm just not ready to go to the world. Let me just have a few days to myself, you know, in Juba. Anyway, so now finally we leave. Uh, I was not even booked this time. It was a chartered plane. So there was, oh, my phone. Like this time it was like a chartered plane. So like there was no much hassle. Just went to the air to the airport and poof straight so but then before we go to people we had to go via board so here is the second sign from god for me not to go to people when we go to board i hit my head on the plane i don't know how i was just i just got out to see like you know to see board and then i hit my head on the plane and uh, i i still have a scar i think it's here it's on, on my forehead i hit my head on the plane and i was bleeding like there was blood all over my face from hitting it and then like if i was someone else i would think that oh this is a sign from above not to go but then no i decided no this is just a coincidence nothing serious so funny we go to pibor and the first thing that welcomes me is no service there's no way for me to call my sister to come and pick me from the air okay like by pick me, I mean like walk to the airport, so airstrip, so we can walk back together to her house. Like the network was off. We, I was hungry. I was tired. The water was salty. The food was like, it was not spiced. There was, guys, living in Pibor is one of the strongest things anyone can do. If you can survive in Pibor, you can survive anywhere. Leave Juba alone. And now the first day at... <laughs> Like, this is all, like, I feel like I should speak on this before, like, go to the snake part. So, the first day I go to work, I decided, oh, this is my first day at, uh, in, in Pibor, at work in Pibor. Let me go looking great. So, I make up, I put a full face of makeup, everything on point. I wear my pants. I wear clothes, shoes. Whole time I'm getting ready, my sister is looking at me and she, she's looking at me the whole time. Then afterwards, I think she was like, she, she, she got fed up. She's, she, then she asked me. Uh, why are you doing all this? Where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to work. I need to look good for work. Like, I need to look good. So she's like, okay, good luck. <laughs> like, if I was someone else, I would have listened to that good luck and washed off all my makeup and wore my Delavia or just worn jeans or something, right? But no, I was like, mm, she's just being a hater. Just calls you, you don't want to look good. You think that everyone doesn't want to look good with you. <laughs> jokes on me anyway so i go to the office and then my my supervisor is like oh we're going for field so it's like oh field on the first day yeah that's great let's go so <laughs> we go to field and then oh my god guys that was the my worst makeup experience to be honest that's like my worst makeup experience because my makeup was pouring like i was sweating you know how we say juba is hot juba is not as hot as people my face my makeup was pouring everything was just dripping there was mud ever you know how like when it rains there's water so it's water in your shoes it was mud in my shoes guys it was mud in my shoes not water mud like just imagine having mud in your shoes anyway so <laughs> i get back to town and then uh, i go meet my sister because it was like lunch time so i go meet my sister and everyone is, everyone in the market is staring at me and they're wondering what's wrong with this one what's wrong with the face because i don't think they know what makeup is so they're just disturbed like why does she look like that why does she look like she's pouring so i go and sit where my sister is sitting and this woman had an extra cloth in her bag she's like you know what it's okay just use this to clean your face like it's okay no problem just use this to clean your face it's all right so like what happened what were you thinking everyone is asking me what were you thinking you know that you're in people <laughs> oh my god guys like since then 
that evening when I go home, I packed all my makeup in the suitcase. I packed all my clothes, like all the office clothes I had, I packed them in the suitcase. From then on, I started wearing sandals. Like not not really sandals, like the, these um, these beaded shoes. Did I tell Masai shoes. I started wearing Masai shoes. Like I kept all my clothes, shoes, all like even carried heels to Pibor. I don't know what I was thinking. I packed everything. I packed all my dresses, everything. I packed it, and it's like from now on, I'm wearing jeans and t-shirts, nothing more. And then, uh, yeah, that's 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 like my worst makeup experience. Like I've never worn makeup with people again. I refuse to. Like to this day, if I'm to go to people, I will not pack any makeup because it's useless. It's pointless. I'm just going to go and embarrass myself, and everyone is going to be looking at me like, what is wrong with her? She does not learn. Like you do, you don't learn. Anyway, so now back to the snakes, back to the story now. So now, you know in Piwar, in the dry season especially, there are snakes everywhere, okay? Because they're like trying to find cool places. They're trying to find like cool spots. So they're like always moving. So if your house is cool, they'll stay there. Like there's snakes everywhere. So when you're walking, like the first time I was walking with my cousin, we're just walking, minding our business. Then she just stops and she's like, snake. So I look at her and I'm like, snake where? So I'm looking around like, oh, where's the snake, where's the snake? And I couldn't see it. So we moved. Like she's like, oh, it is left. So we moved. And then next time, the next time we're moving and she's like, oh, snake. So I'm like, how do you guys see snakes? And I don't see snakes. He's like, oh, you're not traumatized enough. You've not seen a snake yet properly, so you're not just traumatized. But when you start seeing snakes, that's when you start seeing snakes everywhere. If you start seeing snakes, you start seeing... Like, yeah, like, if you see a snake, then you'll start seeing them everywhere because now you're traumatized and you know, you know? Because before this, I'd never seen a snake like that. I only saw a dead snake and also maybe snakes in the zoo. Like, I'd never seen snakes like that before. So now, like, this day... Like, oh, this time it was uh, during... Christmas time, so I had left Pibor. We had all left Pibor for Christmas, the holiday, and then I got back. I got back before my sister because I was not, first of all, I was not even eligible to leave. I left by force. I forced myself to leave, so I had to come back before they noticed that I had left. So I'm just in the house chilling, like I'm alone. My sister is not back. My cousin doesn't live with us. Like I'm alone in the whole entire compound. Okay. Because uh, where we live, it's like the house, then the airstrip is like airstrip, and then the road to the market, then there's another road to the back, then a uh, compound to the right, and then the house in that compound is like in the extreme corner. So it's like meters. The other, across the road is an empty piece of it's like an empty piece of uh, plot of land. So like I was literally living in the bush on my own. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I could have gone and lived with family. But then, it was unsafe. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, whatever. La, we move. I survived. Nothing happened to me. Thank God. Anyway, so now this day, like after I came, I came back from Juba. The first night I was sleeping, I had weird noises and I there was this weird smell. But then I, I ignored it. I actually ignored it. I was like. Uh, Nah, I think it's nothing. It must be the wind. It must be the wind that brought in, like, you know, a smell from somewhere. The second day, same thing. Sounds and then wind. And I could not sleep. Like, it was not rats. It, like, in my head, I thought it was rats. But now that I know, it was not rats. Because the sound was, you know, rats, like, you won't hear any sound. But then this one, you could hear. But I don't know why my head didn't, it didn't click to me that it was a snake. Anyway, second day, third day, same thing. Okay, third day, same thing. Smells, sounds. And then, like, uh, like I didn't even think much of it. So, fourth day, I mean, people, like, now, like, after the third day, third night I was there, now the fourth day, uh, from the office, I called my cousin. We normally have lunch together. So, I called my cousin, like, you where up, where you are. She told me where she is. She told me where she is, and then, um, uh, I told her, you know what, you when you're done with what you're doing, find me in the house so we can go for lunch. So I go home and then I decide to clean because I haven't like really cleaned the house since I came. So I'm like, let me go and clean the house today. So I go, <laughs> I clean my side of the bed. Everything is okay because there's nothing under the bed. And then I get to my, my sister's side of the room. So I, I clean the bed area properly. Then now I move to the corner. There was a box that we... 
we brought some stuff with and then i don't know why we didn't throw it out we just left it in the corner i go and carry that like um i carry the box up and the first thing i see is a snake that was that was like the biggest snake i've ever seen okay apart from the one the, the pythons i saw in the zoo that was like the biggest snake i've seen in my whole entire life like it was like this big it was like my 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 this what is it called what's this what's this part called yeah it was like this big and then it was so long and it was coiled like it was like coiled under the box oh my god like i froze in space like i saw a snake this big and it was coiled like I froze because I didn't know what to do. I didn't expect to see a snake. I was playing music and I was dancing. I didn't expect to see a snake. And then I see a snake there. So what do I do? Honestly, you know, I, I froze. And then the snake, I think, was also... It also froze. So we just look at each other. And then when I froze, I started screaming. I ran to where the scary is. I was like, snake, there's a snake in the house. There's a snake in the house. This guy was so calm about it. He's like... I'm sure it's non poisonous. I think you're just overreacting. I don't know, overreacting. There's a snake in the house and it's so big. La, la, la. So I come back and then I stand at the door because I'm waiting for him to pick his stick or whatever he's going to use to keep the snake away. So I come and then I stand at the door waiting to see if the snake will come out so I can tell him if it's out or not. Yeah. So my cousin, my, fam my cousin finally comes and then she gets to where I am and she's like, Why are you standing outside in this heat? So I told her, Oh, there's a snake in the house. There's a big snake in the house. She's like, are you sure like so is this is it the snake paying the rent for you so she walks into the house and she comes back running he's like wow that's the biggest snake i've ever seen in my life what the hell why what would like how how did it get in and all i was like this snake uh then i was like i don't know i was cleaning and then i saw it under the box and she's like what the hell la, 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 la. so we're just shouting and shouting and then it clicks i was like oh my god this these are the sounds and smells i've been hearing the whole time i've been here like for three days i told her like all the three nights i've been sleeping here i've been hearing sounds i've been smelling smells and then she's like why didn't you tell me like why you? i was like i thought it was rats she's like they're not rats they're not rats in this place what i say so anyway my cousin my cousin yeah me and my cousin i tell her like oh yeah i've been smelling some smells and hearing sounds in the night she's like why did you tell me so anyway i didn't sleep in the house for the next week because my sister was not to be back for like the next week so it's like i'm not sleeping in this house until mercy comes back i am not doing that to myself like what if there's a hole so now there was this hole in the house like in the corner i was like oh my god this is maybe where i came from she's looking at me she's like that snake was too big to fit in that hole so no so anyway like after that incident i think i stayed in people for three four more months and then i decided kalas i'm done with this shit because i kept seeing snakes every day you know you'd be walking and then a snake just passes and you guys just stop and wait for you to cross because uh they won't attack you if you don't attack them if you don't attack them so like you'd be just walking and then a snake passes Shoo. you just stand and look at it and wait for you to go and then you mind your business and continue doing whatever you're doing and anyway so how i left people <laughs> this is really very stupid like i shouldn't be laughing because it's not funny it's very stupid i was very stupid i was young and i didn't know any better anyway how i left people like i applied for leave and then my, my supervisor refused to approve my leave it's like oh no you cannot be approved like uh i've done everything i'm supposed to be doing i have over 20 days of leave so why aren't you approving my leave anyway so i was just sitting and then i decided like this i was just sitting i was in the market and then i see i see there are no flights at this time so i see i see a car that is that is going to juba <laughs> i see a car that is going to juba and then i asked these guys i just passed by and i was like ah oh, when is this car leaving they told me oh we're leaving later i was like how much is it they told me how much it was so i was like ah okay okay cool so i go home and i'm thinking then i reach home and i'm like I think I should leave. So I packed my bags and I told my sister, just there and then, like I didn't have any plans of leaving. I said, my sister, I'm going to Juba. I pack a small bag and then I go to this guy. I was like, do you guys have space? Like, oh yeah, we have space, but you have to sit in the back. Like I was so desperate to leave. I agreed to sit in the back of a land cruiser, guys. Like I was literally in luggage. So anyways, I sit. I was like, cool, it's all right. Like whatever. Like, uh, it's okay. So I said, 
guys don't judge me i know i was so desperate to leave people because i was tired i was i was depressed i was everything like the money i was being paid was not worth it like my plan was not to even quit my plan was to just come to juba for like the weekend and then fly back on a monday or tuesday right <laughs> jokes on me anyway so i get on the land cruiser there are goats behind there there are people there there was this guy that was creepy this arab guy that uh, ew like ew 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 can you think of it that guy no no that guy didn't do that oh god he actually did that like this guy was You know, so yeah, I was I sat at the back of the Land Cruiser. We left, and then we traveled the whole morning. The whole time, I'm looking, I'm talking to myself, I'm like, "You are very stupid. You are one of the dumbest people I've ever met in my whole life. Like, how the hell would you do this? Like, if your dad found out today that you came to Juba on the Land Cruiser, he would have a heart attack. What the hell is wrong with you? Like, at this this whole time, I'm just talking to myself, like, you are so stupid." You are so dumb, 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 dumb. Like, like honestly, I was so dumb. Like, what was I thinking? Like, they kill people on this road. They literally shoot people on this road. And I decided to... Anyway, finally I go to Juba and then uh, spend the weekend with my cousin. Then the next week, these guys... I was supposed to leave on, like, a Monday, Tuesday. I did not. I decided, ah, fuck it, like, nah, me, I need rest. And then... Um, a week later, this guy's called me like charity. If you're not, you don't report back to your your station by this date, we're going to terminate you. I ignored the email. Like, how stupid was I? How stupid was I? I ignored the email. I was like, fuck it. Like, I'm done with this job. You guys don't even la 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 na 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 na. In my head, I didn't say this to them. I just said in my head, I was like, I'm done. I told my dad, you know what? Me, I'm done with this shit. Like, you know what? I'm done. I'm not going back to be bored for myself for my mental health i'm not going back to be bored i don't want like i don't want to go back my dad is like whatever you want to do do it it's your life just do it as long as you're not doing anything wrong if you feel like you're doing the right thing do it so it's like ah oh, yeah thank god for understanding that so two weeks later they call me the hr calls me like yo we're terminate no we are giving you a warning letter so i go get i go to the office and i'm like oh i was told i'm supposed to pick my warning letter so this hr is looking at me like are you serious so i'm like yeah give me a warning letter they write it for me actually the warning letter is not i think they were doing it to threaten me because they wanted me to go to the office and report and la 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 i go i pick my warning letter and then uh two weeks later this guy kept calling me like you know we still need you you can just go back we can forget about this you know like we'll forget about this we don't even have to revisit it like we'll act like this never happened it will not go on your record and like you know what you guys me i don't want to go back to that village like me i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm done i'll sit here i'll, I'll be here i'll find something else to do but i'm not going back there so Two weeks later, they call me. They're like, "Oh, we have nothing else to do but terminate you. So go and pick a termination letter." I go then and like, "Oh, my letter." Then they give me the letters, and then I'm like, "Oh, uh, where do I apply for my benefits? How? When do I get my benefits? How do I get my benefits?" And the HR is just laughing. They're like, "You are very, very okay." They didn't say stupid, but like, "Are you okay?" I was like, "Yes, I'm okay. Like, this money is not worth it." Like, do you know how many people that will die for this position that will die to be getting this money i was like yeah let them die like let them like i'm giving them the opportunity right now i can't come and die because of money i can't come and kill myself because of money so yeah i've not been to people till now like that was like 2018 the weather is so messed so anyway yeah i was saying like um uh, i hope the wind is not so loud so as I was saying, I feel like I've slept with snakes more times than I've imagined, than I that I've known, and that was like the time that I realized that oh shit, this place is terrible. Cause scorpions, scorpions too. Like um, like I've been so close to scorpions so many times, but thank God none of them hit me, stung me. So yeah, like uh, there's always this time. Like every time we're chilling, there's always a snake that comes to the house and in people we don't use mosquito nets for mosquitoes we use it to keep away snakes and uh scorpions like they're everywhere they're everywhere anyway so guys uh thank you for watching this video if you've watched to the end thank you if you're not subscribed please subscribe please please 
subscribe because you've come all this way then why don't you just subscribe and why don't you just watch my other videos you know why don't you just do it just for the sake of doing it anyway thank you for watching my video subscribe again and see you in my next video and see you in my next video